Anu La Liberté is a film by René Clare, which I'm including in this series because I think he is one of the world's really top directors and this is amongst the best of his films. It wouldn't actually be my ideal choice because I uh, uh, just love uh, uh, La Belle de Nuit. But unfortunately that isn't available on DVD as are none of the other films that I, I might have chosen uh, equally such as The Silent Italian Straw Hat or a, a, another early sound film Le Mion uh, or indeed uh, uh, others. Um, his um, Hollywood period is quite well represented um, and uh, again I Married a Witch would be uh, another a very good choice to show the range and versatility of Claire's talent. But I've chosen an Anu La Liberté and having another look at it uh, in preparation for, for this, I am struck by many things. Uh, one is that the influence of the very highly developed silent film style is still in evidence. Uh, but Claire, I think, I, I've read essays that he wrote in the, the late 20s about what the influence of sound coming to the movies would be. And he had his own strongly held ideas, which he incorporated very much into Le Mille, uh, And uh, it's still uh, very evident also in Anu La Liberté. It has to be pointed out that Anu La Liberté uh, was made about four years in advance of Chaplin's, or at least released about four years before Chaplin's Modern Times. Uh, and and uh, I have no idea, but there are distinct similarities between the two films, uh, most particularly the uh, assembly line mix-up, which uh, uh, is a highlight of Modern Times, uh, but it had been done uh, very, very well by Claire in this film. So it's a very interesting film. I think it's very entertaining in its own right. It has a serious undertone as of concern about modern industrial methods uh, and also about uh, the, um, uh, the, the, the boss uh, mentality. Uh, but also it has a charm and a light-heartedness which was essentially Gallic uh, and which Clare embodied uh, in all his films. Uh, and, uh, well, I'm a great uh, believer that uh, he dis deserves uh, reinstatement uh, in the uh, pantheon of the greatest filmmakers.